When we talk about harmonizing a melody, we mean layering extra notes onto the melody without making a completely new melody. We refer to writing a second melody over the first one as counterpoint. We'll cover that sometime in the future. Harmonizing is a quick and easy way to give your melody that extra punch. It makes the melody sound fuller and lets it stand out more from the other instruments. Before we go on, I would like to take a moment to clarify that a secondary sequence of notes played together with the melody is only harmony if it actually harmonizes with the melody. If it doesn't, all it is is a distraction. Unfortunately, most new composers don't enter the scene with prior knowledge of music theory, so they just transpose their melody down some interval and call it a harmony. Unfortunately, doing so makes the transpose line only harmonize with the melody at one or two notes here and there. The bottom line is, for the love of God, don't just transpose your melody and be done with it. It will sound off for the majority of the time and people will notice. That said, here's my thought process for harmonizing a melody properly. Is the note part of the chord? Harmonize down to the next chord note. Can I harmonize a third or sixth down without sounding too dissonant? Do that. Is the note a perfect fourth above a note in the chord? Harmonize a fourth down. None of the above. Try to harmonize down to the closest chord note. Still sounds bad. Make some changes to melody and try again. That's a lot to take in at once, so let's go through it more slowly with an example. Suppose we have this melody and progression. The first step is to harmonize chord notes with other chord notes. Notice in the third measure that I switched from harmonizing by thirds to harmonizing by sixths instead. This helps to avoid parallel fourths and fifths. The second step is harmonizing the non-chord tones. We want to harmonize as much as we can with thirds or sixths, such that the harmony notes are also in the scale that we are working with. Of course, we'll leave out the ones that sound dissonant. Astoundingly, there are a lot of notes that harmonize well just like that. There are two melody notes remaining whose notes that are a fourth downward from them exist in the underlying chord. Voila! You've successfully harmonized a melody in a way that actually sounds good. One more thing you should note is that successive perfect fifth intervals might sound rather bland. The proper term for this is parallel fifths. The same goes for successive perfect fourths. Those of you who already had some music theory knowledge before watching this series would most likely have had experience with four-part harmony. If you do, you would have learned not to allow any two voices to contain parallel fifths. The same applies here in Toho-style composing. Quick disclaimer, avoiding parallel fourths is more of a personal preference than a hard rule. It's a good rule to follow if you want your harmonies to stand out on their own. Some composers will care more about that than others. For example, I personally always harmonize the closest note possible, and don't particularly care if that creates parallel force. On the other hand, Tokiko's harmonies tend to be more varied, and avoiding parallel force helps with that. Parallel fifths, though, is usually an indication that something has gone wrong. If you're following the harmonization guide properly, you really shouldn't be ending up with parallel fifths. That said, an easy way to avoid parallel fourths and fifths is to try employing contrary motion between the harmony and melody. That is, having the harmony move in a direction opposite to the melody. If the melody and harmony move towards each other, then they will likely form a third interval with one another. If they move away from each other, then they will likely form a sixth interval. One particular parallel fourth trap to look out for is whenever your melody plays the root notes of your major or minor chords in the progression. Because the next chord notes down are the fifths of the chords, they will form parallel fourths. Instead, you can harmonize by a sixth downward, so that the harmony plays the thirds of the chords rather than the fifths. We alluded to this strategy in the earlier example. Just like parallel fourths and fifths, 
Harmonizing by octaves is not recommended as it offers no additional flavor to support the melody. However, doubling a part up or down an octave is a great way to make your song sound fuller. How about harmonizing by seconds and sevenths? Depending on the context, harmonizing by these intervals can be situationally good or bad. For example, if you have a melody note D sharp over a C sharp chord without its third, harmonizing by second a C sharp note will create a suspenseful feeling, which isn't that bad at all. This is most notable from the intro of Pure Furries. On the other hand, if your melody note happens to be a G note over a D major chord, harmonizing with seconds F sharp will create a clashing sound which doesn't sound great. Similarly to harmonizing by seconds, harmonizing by sevenths works the best if your melody and chords imply a seventh chord. In the first melody section of the Concealed Four Seasons, a C sharp melody note is used over a D major chord. This implies a D7 chord. Harmonizing down by a 7th is fine here, but if you feel like the 7th interval feels too jarring, do consider adding a second harmony note in between. We would suggest using the 3rd or the 5th. If you have no idea what any of that just meant, don't worry about it. You shouldn't be harmonizing with 2nds and 7ths anyways until you really know what you're doing, and even then, it's still super uncommon. You can also put harmonies above the melody note if you like. However, since melodies usually sit in the higher range, there is a chance that your harmony ends up outside the acceptable range. Therefore, we recommend playing it safe and harmonizing with thirds more often than sixes. Other than that, the rules for harmony apply the same when you harmonize upwards as when you harmonize downwards. As always, beware of parallel fourth and fifth.